Welcome to Money's Designs. Um, this is a live stream recorded for Ustream.tv and also recorded for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. I'm going to be finishing off the Joanna Basford um, Hobby Horse page on her Christmas colour book. I had a request to finish the pages and some people would have got this book for Christmas so I'm going to try and do um, a few more videos to finish off these pages. So because I'm working on these curls, I'm zoomed in. So I have my little tray and I've got my three riggers, a number three, a number two and a number one. And I've also got a liner which is a 10 zero, and that's quite fine. I've got my damp baby wipe and I'm working with the hydras. So in this little palette here, I have phthalo blue and phthalo green. So somewhere in between, I've got kind of a phthalo turquoise and that's what this color is. Uh, but because there's a lot of curls on it, I pulled this particular page out of the book so that I have a lot of control. I have more control. So I've got a damp brush. I'm just picking up a tiny bit of each colour and teasing it out. And I pulled this particular page out of the book because I needed to turn it so that I could get a natural curve. Turn that one and uh, apologies if I kind of go off uh, go off screen. The camera for some reason I've downloaded Windows 10 and it wants to turn itself off every four seconds. <laughs> so you gain something in one way and then you gain something in another. So I've got to go on settings and just put it that it doesn't sleep after four seconds or how, however, however long it is. So these are the vibrant and not like the ink tents. They're very similar in colour, but these are still a watercolour. So even though you've dried these, these are professional watercolour liquids in little bottles, but you can dry them. And they still work when they're dry. <clears throat> so you reconstitute them back into a watercolour. But if you retouch them, they are still just like a watercolour. You can still reactivate them by adding water. Whereas the ink tens, once they've been acted and used, they are fast. Anybody's got any questions? So good morning to everybody and I hope everybody's still having a good holiday or everybody's back at work. Being the 4th of January, some people take a week off. Some people need a week to recover. So we live another year. And again, it's a bit difficult that, so you need to turn it to make it easy. Because if, if you can stroke that colour at a natural angle, you've got less chance of going over your line. And this is why this particular one, I knew there was a lot of curves on it, so I took it off. Much 
actually going to go on this one because this is going to be a very dark this. And again, it's, it's, it's not that easy. Just thought I'd take that up there. So you've got quite a bit of control over this. And again you can tease that colour because it's a watercolour. I'm working a little bit wetter than I normally do. Um, so Again, that's the natural curve of things. I tease that colour around and I can turn round and finish that curl there. Start on this one. Oh, hi Carrie Ann, welcome to Bunny's Designs. Nobody else is popping in. I'm just playing with this uh, Joanna's Christmas colour book. I had a request to finish it off um, and I forgot yesterday. I was so excited about my, my new drawing tablet um, that I forgot. So I had a bit of a play with it and at first I thought, oh no, it's, it's not going to work. But when I put the pen onto the screen, a lot of um, videos of people unboxing them had said the calibration wasn't right. Well, my calibration was spot on. Touch the screen, and when I touch the pen completely, um, straight to the um, it's not perpendicular, I can't think of the word. Straight onto the screen. So if that's the screen, I got the brush straight onto it and I looked down the brush. The little the little arrow was exactly on the tip of the brush. So the accuracy was very good, I have to say. Um, I've had a bit of a play. And I tried to download the the, the things. So I, I don't know what I did wrong, but um, I always, I'm normally quite good at fixing laptops and things, and I managed it okay. So whatever bug they had, they fixed it, and it works fine, which was good to know. So if you can fight your way out of the box and <laughs> plug it in, you're okay. You follow the instructions and you're all right. So every time I look up to see if I'm in frame, the, fret, the, the screen goes down. <laughs> yeah, so, and this is where I caught some dirt on here, look. So I'm going to might have to do a background, I haven't decided. And my girls are upstairs and the dogs open the door. So in a moment, I may just have to get up. Just move that up there slightly. And so I thought I'd finish this page and then um, See what happens. So the good news is I've actually got through to somebody from Derwent and so I've requested to possibly 
go up to the because I want some more supplies so I need to go to the uh, the art shop in Keswick I need some more supplies I need to do buy the rest of the pastel pencils so I've got the full set <clears throat> excuse me because I haven't got the full set and I quite like the art bars as well for, just for purely for the colors so you may be able to buy a little book of colors like mine soon <laughs> and not make your own so that's good because I'm sure they'll be able to put the colors straight onto a paper palette um, without too much difficulty across there now across the top I push that down to there sorry it's like a damp brush twist it dry so it's quite damp is that I am working a little bit wetter these are smaller spaces and this Joanna Basford paper is very very good quality so you can just be that little bit wetter than if you were just on a, a photocopy paper but I always say photocopy a, a page you want to color and then just go for it if you're not used to watercoloring just go for it I've got a bit of a <clears throat> frog in the throat again this morning, so I do apologise. And so just follow the, all these curls around. So this is a mixture of phthalo blue and phthalo green in the Dr. Martin's Hydrus liquid watercolours. And there's been, I've had a couple of drops of each colour. Um, and it never really completely dries out. It always stays a little bit sticky. Um, so in my little book, I've got them just as drops but they're very vibrant so a couple of drops go a long way and again as a tight Yorkshire lass I kind of like that so when I finish this particular page um, hopefully within the hour shall, I want to uh, to show sorry shouldn't have done that let's see if I can get back around there I want to show I've forgotten what I was doing then it'll come to me in a minute Oh, I started um, yesterday the Colin Thompson page in the Derwent Pastel Pencils. And uh, I thought I was going to do 
one of these pages in the Joanna Christmas book. I thought I was going to do it in a uh, graphite tint. But actually, I think I'm going to do it in pastel. From the Derwent pastel pencils, because it will be quicker. And there's some really nice pale colours that I want to use for the wallpaper. Um, and then I can use the Derwent ink tents to do the very vibrant foreground, which will be the Christmas tree in the presents and the fireplace. Um, so I'll be using mixed products on that one. So I'm turning into a bit, well I've always been a bit of a Derwent girl. As I say, they are the oldest pencil company on the planet, I think. So they've got to be the best. They actually know what they're doing. And Hubby promised me a trip because I was too ill to go earlier in the year. So we're going to have a trip up to the... But I don't think the pencil museum was open then, so I'm going to have to find out when it's opened. I haven't looked on the website yet to see if it's open yet. Because they were flooded last year with the nasty floods we had. I've just got this corner to do here. <clears throat> oh, hi Christy, welcome to Bunny's Designs. I'm just having a, a bit of a play with this. It's just a little bit too wet. If it's too wet, instead of getting rid of the colour on the end, so we've got colour on the end and we've got a really damp wet brush. I just nip it, and I, if you can see the liquid, wipe and I nip it again. So I don't touch the colour end, I just nip the paintbrush and take all that colour out. So instantly you'll see now when I touch this, it's not as wet. Because that means you don't waste the paint that you've already picked up. And of course it's a tight Yorkshire lass. I like my water to be what clear when I've finished. And that's the beauty of all the Derwent products in my little book. Every scrap of pigment paint gets put on the page and not in the, in the water. Nearly every single time I colour, all the colour is on the page. And again, that's a little bit damp, I think is on the page and not in the water pot. My water pot, I haven't changed it in a week, that one. And if I go away for the weekend with my little book of watercolours, I don't, I have the same pot for the whole weekend, the little tiny pot of water. The only time I have to top the water up is if it evaporates because I've used it all. These, I've, I actually washed it out, so there's a tiny tint of colour in here. Um, but normally there isn't any colour at all change. So again, we've got a lot more colours. So I'm going here. So if anybody's got any... Oh, I can't speak today, sorry. If anybody's got any questions, <laughs> pop them in caps. Because this is, again, I've got to find that this is now a little bit slow and fiddly for me. So working very fast with those pastel pencils yesterday was was very good. The only thing you've got to remember is it will smudge. It will smudge. So um, I've actually been asked a question from somebody about yesterday when I was using the colours from the pencils. Um, and I can't remember, I'm pretty sure they're going to be fast because I've, I've used them before like that but I just cannot remember so I've got to get in touch with Derwent to ask them about the pencils that if you make a watercolour out of them a dry watercolour and then you use that colour I'm pretty sure they are because it's like these are a bit st sticky but once they've got water to them and dry they're dry so I'm pretty sure that once 
these are dry and I'm at the right angle you see so I need to get the right angle for me you've got to have a nice curving motion of your wrist it makes it easier it makes it quicker and you are keeping the lines most of the time <laughs> Um, so I, I think once you, if you use a, pe a pastel pencil, and you, you, I was saving the shavings from the when I when I sharpened the pencil, I I got rid of the wood shavings, but to to actually create a little bit of a point, I kept the dust particles from the pencil, the pastel pigment, and I activated it with a drop of water mixed it with water and then it dried on my palette so I'm pretty sure that that now bec has become a watercolour and so that when I wet it it will just act as a watercolour and then when the water dries the pigment will dry on the paper um, and I'm pretty sure it will but I can't advise somebody unless I've been properly advised that makes any sense at all <laughs> so I'm just using this color into here and I do like these hydrous vibrant vibrant colors it's just I found things a little bit more difficult to use now so and I've still got a book to make for my daughter with all the Derwent things in. When she goes to uni, she's going to be using more colour now for animation. Uh, and again, you know, you, you ca if you get all these products out on your desk, you'll be completely surrounded. And you would need a suitcase to carry them around, so. You know, she can melt the art bars as well so that I can cut the art bars and put those in there. Because that would be good. The art bars are beautiful and they're watercolours in their own right. So, again, that was a little bit wet. So I can just take out the water and then instantly tease all that colour around. So this is quite therapeutic to do. Sorry about the traffic noise. It's I don't know where all this traffic has come from all of a sudden. There seems to be an awful lot of it. Just gonna turn that so it's just a bit easier for me. Yeah, it must be a lorry convention going past, so I do apologise. <clears throat> but you just have to keep going. You start and you just keep going until until you've finished. And again, it's not a race. I mean I'm going quite fast here, but you know, when you're doing your colour books, you're doing mm. them for therapy or for relaxation you're not doing it in a race it's not relaxing if you're rushing i still quite enjoy myself and i forget that i'm streaming because i actually quite like to work like this is just how i normally work but you know if if, if you, you and you certainly don't need to go at this space you know i would probably get more comfortable and i would twist the page up and down all the time so that my hands at a natural arc which is the same as my wrist and then I'm not putting any strain on my hands 
but I find that difficult to do because I'm, I'm turning the page all the time and trying to keep it in focus as well. So, oops, the idea is that you just take your time and enjoy yourself. Pick a medium that you like. Pick one that's convenient to use. You, know, you can't use watercolour if you're in the car. Well, I do, but you know, you, you want pens or pastels. See, I wouldn't take this to the hospital, but I would take my little book. I mean, I carry, I did a whole page of Kerber Ozan because I was about, uh, it was a, go a good three hours there. So, um, so that was, that was fine for me. Found a sunny spot, just sat down with my little book of colours and I just painted and filled in a Kirby Roseanne little book and it was quite enjoyable because if anybody came up to me I could just shut the book and all, everything was 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 kept tidy and clean um, and I had a, t a tablespoon of water to spill so everybody was quite happy with that I think they must have thought there was a nutter in there, but hey ho. <laughs> it just sat. But I mean, sometimes you go to the hospital, it's, a, it's an all day job. Oh dear, I think there could be a bark alert. I think I know why it's actually noisier, I've just realised. Because the, the dogs open the door, so we're not going to have the window. We have the door, so bear with me a moment. I'll just go shut the door. And then he's going to come. The minute I do this, he's going to... Oh, he's going to come out and back downstairs and open the door again. Yes, he is, because there's a post now. sound is quite noisy. We don't normally hear them. And there is the postman, so there could be bark alerts. So apologies in advance, in which case they will come downstairs and they will push the door open. <laughs> oh, it's so wonderful. The minute I press record, everybody's naughty. Um, just a few couple more curls and we've finished. Just push that into oops down there. So this is quite delicate work but with a bit of practice Gosh, I'm going to have to see my, uh, I bet he's got his shorts on because it's actually quite bright out there. I bet our postman's got his shorts on. to look to see if I can see his legs. <laughs> Press the Christmas tree. So I've got to practice um, I've got to practice You'll think there's a sad old lady eyeing up his legs. Thank you. 
there must be back soon. I've only got I've only got four cottages up there. I've just got that little bit to do and I think I've finished. It's, it's a quite bright day, bright day today. It's very, very cold, but extremely bright. So that is quite nice. I'm probably going to miss his legs. But it wouldn't surprise me if he's got his shorts on today. And he has a little red van, like Postman Pat. He doesn't have a cat there. So that's that's finished. It's green, so I shall pan out. And we can see what it looks like. Almost, it's almost fitted on. Um, so I've just got the the little I think they're, they're wire though. So I think I'm going to call that finished. I actually quite like how simple it is. I don't think I want anything else on it. Just pull it up there very carefully, so you can see. And it's just a bit of an angle. So if I move that. I actually quite like that as it is. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Kerry Ann. Yes, he's got his shorts on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, he's got his shorts on. He's got his shorts on. His long boy. His long shorts on. And it's probably minus one out. <laughs> Sorry. Sad old woman. Ogling the postman's legs. There we go. So... I actually quite like that. I like it very simple. Um, let me just, so I want to put these away because we've been known to have the odd pud put her paw in there. So um, I haven't used them since. <laughs> and so I'm probably going to start. Let me have a look at the Joanna book and see what we've got. Um, so that's that page finished. I put it in backwards for some reason. Oops, oops, it is. <laughs> I've forgotten my long socks today, so I've got to have two blankets on because I get very cold if I forget because I'm in a north facing little, little room. So let's have a look in our Joanna box. I can put this back in here actually. So we'll do a quick flip. So I had a practice with the hydras and they're quite, they are very vivid and gorgeous. Um, then I had watercolour and these are Derwent pencils but then they're, they're the ink tense so they're very vibrant um, and that's the hydras as well so it's very similar but I did put extra curls in this one because I wanted to fill up the space. Because I'm a bit of a tight Yorkshire lass, and I like a full page, so I haven't paint, I haven't coloured the baubles or the little gingerbread house. Um, I started the gingerbread house, and that's in ink tense. drew some, um, I don't know if you can see them, in pencil to draw in my rotary pen which happens to be the exact same size and it's got Indian ink in it so it's permanent. Um, this was, I think this was ink tens. Again this was, I think this was ink tense pencils and again I wanted to fill the page. Um, I think this was Hydras. This 
is the background I've drawn. So it's 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 the actual holly background that I've traced and, and turned it round because it looks like it's a wallpaper that way. And I've traced all that so that I can do a, a pale background and then a vivid foreground. And this was, was with the Derwent um, graphic tint, which are beautiful colours. Um, this is with Derwent Ink Tens pencils. So you can get some really pale blues. You don't have to use them as dark as they are. Depends on the com it depends on the I wonder if that's where the horse is. So I do have a fair amount to do, but I've got to fill these curls in first. Um that was Derwent pencils, I think. I think that was watercolour. That was the graphite. Uh, that was the, the liquid paper. And again, I had to fill extra swirls in because there were spaces. I think I put those two in and those two in to fill the page. And the hobby horse. And I think that's all I've done. Again, I need to fill the spaces in. Uh, I'm a bit of a tight Yorkshire lass. So I'm going to put the horsey in there. It should be a spare piece of paper. And because it actually was stuck onto there, I can I can stick it back onto there. So I'm going to put the horse in there. Um, so I have quite a few pages to do in here. And then we have the jungle book. I haven't done that many. I was using all the all these are watercolours. Um, I want to do that one, but I'm going to do it in pastels. But I think I, I need the full set of pastels because I just want a few more vibrant ones. My set of Derwent pastels are from this portrait set, so they're fairly pale. Um, so I need to get the other colours, the rest of the colours, so that I can I can prob probably give um, a good... Um, A good sampler because I started this yesterday and I've had to leave it open because it's pastel it's it won't rub all the way but it will smudge and I started that and I'm using just an ordinary again I need to go to Derwent and buy I need to buy the um, the blenders and the stubby blenders and things so um, and they do actually a craft knife to go with it with this which is very very good um, now did I leave that out on purpose I've lost my little stubby brush no, I found it. so I've been using this um, but it, I could do with a bit of a finer one, but it's just not so bad. So that's what it looks like, the pastels, in um, in the Colin Thompson book. Um, but I actually quite fancy doing one of these in here. I could do these little, these little nutcrackers. We could do the nutcrackers, so I think there'll be reds and greens. I mean, just let me have a look at the pencil. So the, the portrait set I have is, is to say, fairly pale. Um, and I did another page, but I can't think what it was. Oh, this is what I did. Just look. This is my first attempt yesterday with these pencils. So I've got a little bit of smudge on here, but it hasn't done anything to the page. Um, but it's definitely smudged on there, just a little bit. So I need to, you need to fix it. 
but I really love the colours. But there aren't any vivid colours now. I think there is in pastels, so... Um, but I, I quite like that idea of putting it into here, um, like the hair. So I've got a bit of a practice, because again, I've never played with these. I've had them for years and never used them, these Derwent pencils. Uh, and I was going through my, my stash of, of things to give to my girls because they both do art and I can't do a lot of art now. I can just use the Inktense pencils and the Derwent watercolour pencils, but all my other pencils will be disappearing. Um, but I thought I'd have a bit of a play with these and because I don't have to press on hard, I can actually still use these. So I probably will try and keep going with these. Um, I just wanted to get a few more colours because I, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some really nice vivid greens for this. I don't really want to do this yet so I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to wait because the Christmas one has got to have some nice vibrant colours if I'm going to do them in pastel. Um, but there is no reason why we can't do one of these. Um, I think I'm going to put, pick a page that I don't have to redo. Um, again, I have to draw in these spaces. Can't help myself. <laughs> oh, uh, um, Carrie Ann, which book? Hi, Carrie Ann, which book? Hi, Christy, which book did you? Uh, which book were you looking at? Sorry, I've just looked at so many. I keep telling myself I am not going to buy another colour book. <laughs> And then you realise there's a couple of Bennett Kleins that I don't have. There's at least four of the um, Joanna Basfords I don't have. I'm pretty sure I've decided that I will buy the Colin Thompson, the Joanna Basfords, and the Bennett Klein ones, um, and the <laughs> and the and the um, and the Kirby Rosans. I think if I stick to those, I might be okay. <laughs> Uh, but I have a lot of a lot of other ones to go for. See, that's quite a beautiful one. And now I can blend with these pencils, these pastels. Um, I can work a little bit differently, which is always quite nice. This is just watercolour that I was using up. And the terror's going to do his usual trick and open the door again. Thank you, Alfie. Thank you, Alfie. Thank you for that, darling. Yes, thank you. He's just stood looking at me. Yes, you did that. There's no I'm going to snuggle with Mummy now. The elephant one's quite nice. Um, there's um, there's a French grey in the pastels. That would be good. But when you look on the website, I'm going to have to get up and shut the door because it's too cold. Um, when you look on the website, I've Oh, I didn't do it on there. I downloaded the... Um, I do this all the time because I don't have any memory. So I screenshot... Um, I've just got an I, Do, an I Love You... Um, text from Hubby. But what I do is I screenshot... the colour chart um, and because I know that I have the tin of 36 except for my are oh, the skin tones 12 it doesn't meant you see it doesn't mention because it's so old these look a lot more vibrant than mine um, but if I look at um, let me have a, a bright one a Prussian brew 35d Prussian blue 35 uh, 30 yeah 350 um, I'm not sure if that I think this is a different set uh, chocolate is 590 that isn't I know that but they've lost the D's and B's so when you look at my tin if you look at my tin here it says that the 72 range, there's three yellows, three cadmiums, three spectrum oranges, there's B, D and F in all of them. So 
I've made a mistake because there's obviously another 36 of these and then I've got a full set of the Derwent Pastel Pencils um, which will be the normal vibrant colour. These are the Derwent Pastel Pencils. So um, when I get to the... <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna, I think this is the only thing I'm going to buy though. I won't be buying any other supplies because my hands don't work um, and I find I can just about manage to kind of stroke this and then stroke this and I get this um, so I actually quite like the pastel they're very very easy to use um, so that's a little bit depressing <laughs> oh dear I um, quite like this colour. So yes, I've made a mistake then. So there's a set, there's two sets. There's obviously the portrait set, um, which they may not do anymore. I must have had these 15, 20 years. I know I've had them a long time. So I need to find out if they do the portrait set. I'm sure they still do. So that means that in my little book, in my little book of watercolours, I've got the 72 Derwent pencils, and then I've got the 72 Ink Tense pencils, and then I've got the the drawing graphic tones, and then I've got the graphic tints 24, and I've got potential to have another 150, no, 144 pastels in here as well um, but I'm hoping that they can actually manage to put this into um, onto a paper palette uh, the pastel colour onto a paper palette so you'll have all these beautiful muted pastel uh, shades so that even though you are just colouring in a colour book when it comes to a face you can actually do it um, in fact I've just had an idea I keep doing this <laughs> So I've had an idea. I'm going to have to get up and shut that silly door again. Murder the dog. Just bear with me a second. have a Pride and Prejudice book. Oops. I have to go around everything. It's very cold in this room. <laughs> so I have this Pride and Prejudice and I think there's a lot of faces in it. Um, so I think I'm going to do um, and there's some big spaces and they're difficult to do when they're wet although this paper is very very good quality there's a lot of faces so I think I'm going to work in here but also this particular book I was a bit disappointed again the pages were very thin um, and there's obviously a lot of faces I think in this one as well so this will be good for the pastel pencils so that will be quite a good book I was bought this for my birthday and I haven't managed to go work in it yet. So let's pick a page that's quite full. You see, again, I'd like to do the wallpaper as well. I think that would be quite good. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's run, off, run back upstairs. He, he comes in, opens the door and runs back upstairs. 
Uh, yes, Kerry Ann, it's really strange. I get really excited about whatever I'm working on, and I got these out to give to my daughter because she's going to uni. And I thought, oh, I'll just have a play because I've never ever used them. My daughter, my other daughter, used them for her final, and she got a distinction. Um, and she used these, and um, I never, I didn't teach her how to use them. Um, I just said you've got to fix, use fixatives at, at school. But um, she used them and broke three. Uh, and I resharpened a couple of them. But when I resharpened them, the exciting bit, and I just pushed that book onto that colour, uh, was I couldn't waste, I waste the shavings um, because I shave off a lot of the wood from the pencil and then I leave the big, fat, round uh, stick of colour. And then I scraped it onto here. And it's actually on the other video. It's on the Colin Thompson. I think it's on the first video. Or it, it could be, I did the black one on the video and I did the other two. So this is actually pastel, but it, I mixed it with two drops of cold water and the dust particles from sh shaving, um, I think this one is this one. So I sharpened, and you have to do it with a scalpel with the Derwent guard. So you put it on there and you use it so it's, it's easy to cut you don't cut yourself so I take quite a lot of wood off and then I shaped the point but I didn't want to waste that because I knew that was color so I scraped it onto here in a little puddle and then I added two drops of water if I'd have done it in a well if I'd have had a, these wells were empty I would have done them in here but these are ink tents uh, sorry these are hydras so all my palettes are used um, but again, if I did that with 72 pencils, and of course the other 72, that's going to give me 142 watercolours out of my pencils. And they are the most beautiful muted colours, because these are the colours that will come out. Um, and so they're going to go in my book, so I've got now another 140 colours. And remember that each colour, it's upside down, each colour in my book has at least 10 shades. So there's hundreds and hundreds of colours and colour combinations. You know, I can mix these two on a palette here. As long as I wipe it and clean it, every page has got a palette. Every page has a palette. And that blue was shut when it was wet. I was at hospital and I shut it because the nurse called me. And I just shut the book and it was wet. But the colour's there. And as long as that colour doesn't move, it's never only going to contaminate its same colour. So again, you know, you wait three hours for the doctor to call, which is fine, because of course they're a lot busier. You sit there, you are happy colouring in, and then as soon as the nurse sh shouts you, I shut that. I throw it in my bag and I stand up. Then I put the paintbrush away. And I've been colouring for hours at the hospital. Even at the doctors, you know, we could be an hour at the doctors. So dentists, we could be an hour at the dentist. That hour, instead of being fretting that you're sitting there and you, and it, oh, you know, why are they late? And uh, she was in before me. And uh, uh, you're colouring and you think, well, yeah, go on, you carry on what you're doing. I'm just chilling. I can't do anything about it. So I might as well enjoy that time that I have to sit there. And you sit there and you do whatever you like doing. And in my case, it's colouring or drawing. And there are some small colour books to take. Um, and this book is, is an A6. Um, and I think, I think with a bit of jiggery pokery and all Derwent's colours, we could get a thousand colours in this book. That you can instantly open and touch. And I think if Derwent can bring that out, I think that would be awesome. And if we had it like a binder, like a ring binder with the Derwent logo on it, then there's, we can ha sell, um, they can sell, sorry, they can actually have these refillables. And because they're only posting six pages of 72 colours, I mean, that's millimetres thin. But there's 72 ink tens there, so there's 720 colours. There's 72 Derwent watercolour pencils, which are really beautiful and quite vivid. 
they are beautiful beautiful colors i mean you've got so many lemons so many oranges you've got your reds your purples your blues your greens and your browns and grays there's 72 there that's another 720 colors and that's about an inch thick if that half an inch thick now i'm hoping they bring theirs out to be a little bit thicker because mine's lasted a while but obviously if you're going to buy these they can actually print this color onto here so they probably can make them last that bit longer so but that's potentially um what did i say 144 1440 colors just in that and then you've got there's at least 12 because i've got some down here as well somewhere of those graphy tones and see there's all the graphy tones then there's the graphy tints there's another 240 colors there because each color gets at least 10 shades out and i learned that from the chameleon pens and then you can color you can make your own colors up the only thing i would say is maybe bring a few more reds out and some yellows and then you'd have every color you wanted but you can mix your own colors you can mix that gray green with that one and get another green so there's thousands of colors within the colors but if you didn't want to mix and if you're poorly like me you just get the damp brush touch and color in that's it you've still got hundreds and hundreds of colors oh there's some more washes these are the derwent water pencil washes um so there's i think there's about 12 of those there's a light wash a dark wash a medium wash 8b 4b and hb uh, but there's some graphic there's some tones as well that i've found they're in the they're in the bag Oopsie, mistake. Hi Jess, welcome to Bunny's Designs. I'm just waffling about my Derwent products. And in my little book, <laughs> she says little book, if I lift that up. Because I've taken them out, um, you see, I don't know how many is in this particular set. These are the, the graphy tone. Uh, washes as well so you could have at least 24 of these um, and then you have the Derwent sketching pencils in a sketching with a paint with a paintbrush like I do so you've got your 72 pencils in here oh I forgot the um, the Derwent metallics they could go in there as well. well they are in there they're here the going graphics haven't stuck them in yet but they're here somewhere don't know where i've put them now they are in here somewhere and although these are the ink blocks are in there the derwent ink blocks are in there And oh, oh, there's there's the Derwent metallics. They're in there as well. And these are Caran d'Ache, but the art bars, my art bars are going in there. So there's Derwent art bars as well. Uh, and again, I still want to see if I can melt them and just take a corner off, and then I can stick them in a book like this. So I've got pure colour. Um, so I would think easily a thousand colours. And the ink tents as well. I say I haven't put mine in because I used them. Uh, and I'm going to have to try and squeeze in some more. <laughs> but these are the only art supplies I'm going to keep. Because, um, and my little book of watercolours. Because I've, my hands are so bad now. I really need to be able to just pick this up and take it with me. Um, but... I can't believe I've found these after so many years and never used them. So has anybody got any questions? Oopsie. Um, so I'll just show this one back. 
and finish this video and then I'll start the next one. Oopsie, I lost my little horse now. So that was the one we finished this morning. And that was in liquid hydrous watercolours. And so thank you for watching. And there should be some more. There is going to be some more Christmas ones. I'm going to fill, I'm going to colour those in, and then I'll do a I'll do a flip of the book when it's finished. Uh, so thank you everybody for watching, and I'm going to make another. So stay online, guys. I'm just going to finish this YouTube video about this Christmas Joanne's Christmas book, and it was the Hobby Hob page. Thanks for watching. <laughs>